Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dominic Sakali. Had a great workout today. Um, stay tuned for today. Today we're going live at 12.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today is October 13th, 2023. And we're going to be talking about Joe Molino and his little partner, Pup. Um, regarding what they're saying, because Joe came out and stated in the beginning he was going to be accurate. He was going to tell the truth. You could believe him. Joe's already messing up, telling lies, building cases for the government. And he should know better. He should know better. There was no good outcome. And again, folks, I don't want to see anybody go to jail. I'll keep it real 24-7. I don't have to embellish. And yes, he is blowing it out of the water. I got to give him that. His views, his, his uh, subs, he exploded. He exploded. But you know what? I'm going to ride his wave. Definitely. There's no doubt. I don't have to. Uh, and he keeps on mentioning me. I'll keep on coming back. So again, he opened up his mouth with inaccuracies. He wants to state things. And I'm going to address things. I'm going to tell people how the federal government works. What happens? I've been in and out of the system my whole life. And so is Joe. Joe should know better. He should know better. It's called racketeering, Rico. There's no statute of limitations. We'll talk about that. Joe's building a case for the feds. He's giving it to them. Just like John Gotti did. Helping the feds, making it easy for them. Is he out of his damn mind? Folks, all you haters out there, you have to know I'm right. You have to know I'm right. He's still the boss. He's still active in the crime family. Are you kidding me? Come on, guys. Just think. Use your minds. That's cool. You could hate. You could say what you want. I'm a rat. I did this. I did that. But I didn't help the feds build a case. I didn't help them. At the end of the day, yes. I came in. I cooperated. I did what I had to do. But damn, he's making it easy. Where people... You're talking about crimes of the past saying statutes of limitations ran out? Are you guys out of your minds? Now I see why all New York City, the five crime families, are in an uproar with Joey Molino on social media. Are you guys crazy? I don't want to see anybody in jail. Again, I'll state this. I don't want to see anybody in jail. That's why I'm giving them the advice. So all you haters out there? Listen to my, I have to know I'm right. You could hate, call me a rat, call me a snitch, call me, I took the coward's way out. Cool. That's all good. But when you hear what I'm saying, you have to say, you know what? That rat, that coward is right. Joey, what are you doing? You're going to give everybody in your crime family a case. A case. You're making it easy for the government. People. And then you're glamorizing. You have your nephew on talking about sports like it's okay to become a degenerate gambler as yourself. People, I'm here to help kids. I'm here to educate kids. And to his nephews, his cousins, everybody who is looking up to him, Joey, shame on you. You should be putting these kids in a different direction. Getting them into the unions, getting them onto jobs, get, keeping them in school. Come on. What you're doing is an injustice for your, 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 these kids out there, even your family members. Are you kidding me? My young family members, I, I try to steer them out of it. My son, I try to steer him away from the streets. Like, are you kidding me? I don't want him to have the heartache, the anguish of what I went through. And you're like joking around like it's okay, talking about sports betting. To become a degenerate gambler, that's disgusting. And we'll go into that too. I've seen nothing's good has nothing good has come out of gambling excessively. Nothing in life. Zero. And I've been around a long time to know, folks. So stay tuned today. Oh boy, I'm gonna sneak. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. But stay tuned today. 12:45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, October 13, 2023. We're going live. We're going to address Mr. Molino and his sidekick, Puff. So we're definitely going to address this, and we're going to hit it hard. So it'll be interesting. Bring your comments. Keep it respectful, and I'm okay with it. So 
And folks, don't worry about me going up against Joey Molino, the big badass. I'm not a, I'm not worried. I'm not scared. Because when my time's up, the guy upstairs, it's already written in stone. And you know what? I have the government behind me. Anything happens to me, they're gonna all hell's gonna break loose on every organized crime family out there. So I'm here trying to help kids, trying to do the right thing. And this is America, freedom of speech. And I'm going to say what I need to needs to be said and correct people's misstatements. Like Mr. Molino wants to talk about and purport like he's the good guy. Organized crime, they're the good guys. And he's going to tell the truth and then come on, make all misstatements, misfacts. So stay tuned. Today's going to be a doozy. Love everybody. Peace out. And don't forget, EG Vodka also will have um, have my call at 12 p.m. about EG Vodka. We're going to try to get the subscription base. I received the email to get the right address. I'm going to handle that. And that's it. And I'll let everybody know when they should anticipate receiving the first product. And thank you for all with the delay. I appreciate it, all the pre-orders. And thank you so much. So it's greatly appreciated. And uh, wish everybody the best, but stay tuned for today's live Mafia Roundtable, 12.45 p.m., October 13, 2023. I'm going for Molino.